Welcome back to TechMaker. This is Scraping the Web with Ruby Part 2. If you want to see new episodes as soon as they come out, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. And also be sure to check the description for some book recommendations. In this episode, we're going to start looking at how to pull back some data from Craigslist. I don't know if you'll be able to fully follow along with this as the website may change a bit or all sorts of things could happen that could prevent this from working, but this technique should actually work uh, on many websites. So if this doesn't work for you, you should be able to follow along using something that you find on your own. So I'm on the New York Craigslist. I'm going to jump into apartments, all apartments, and as you can see, there's pages here. So on this first page we have 1 to 120 and it looks like we go up to 3,000. So what this is telling us is that this first page is showing us apartments 1 through 120 and that there's a total of 3,000. So what I want to do, if we just click next, this is one way you can find out kind of how the pagination works. So sometimes uh, you'll see like P equals 2 when you click next on a website like this. Um, that would be obviously page equals two. In this case we have s equals 120 so it's telling us where to start. So we can type in like 360 and it's going to start with the 360th, 361st one actually. Uh, if I put zero, which is interesting, it's going to tell me 1 to 120. I'm not sure what happens if I put something in that's not yeah, so if I put in 1, it starts on the second one. So it's zero index, like you would expect a programming situation to be. Finally, let's check what happens if we put 3,001, because supposedly there are only 3,000. Okay, so we just get this page. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is rely on this no results uh, flag here that basically will help us to stop when we go through all the pages. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's jump back into the terminal and let's get started. So sort of like we did yesterday, we're just going to work in the terminal. Um, I'm going to probably, uh, once we kind of get this solidified about how we're going to go about this, I'll put it in an actual uh, file and potentially put it up on GitHub or something. Um, anyway, so let's do IRB and we're going to require open URI. Once we have that, we can do what we were doing yesterday and say something like doc equals open and then just paste in that URL. So the first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to call this doc final because it's, it's that 3001 we were looking at. So I've got that. I'm going to say um, oh content final equals doc final dot read. Now let's do a quick search for no results. So we'll say content final equal or uh, dot index no I think it was all lowercase. Okay, so we get an index so we do have those words. So let's check and see if the first one for chance has those words in the page or not. I'm just going to cycle back up. So doc, uh, let's call this doc start. And we'll, it'll be the s equals zero one. So that's the very first thing. Okay. Um, and then I'll do uh, content start equals doc start dot read. And then uh, content start dot index no results. And we hope this comes back nil. And it does. So just so you know, I haven't actually done this exact thing on this exact page before, at least not in recent memory. So I don't actually know 100% what I'm doing, which is why I'm kind of talking through it this way. I'm uh, not always sure what's going to happen. So what I think we can do... Because we know that, it, or at least we think, that the pages leading up to the end page don't actually have this no results flag, but then the last page does, we can use that to basically 
iterate through all the pages and then decide when to stop iterating based on when we hit this no results thing. Okay, so let's see if we can step through this. So the first thing I want to have is, so if, let's just look really quick at the URL. So we've got this s equals zero. What we want to do is start on zero and then go to 120 and then go to 240 and so on and so forth until we uh, have no results show up. So what we want to do is something like uh, just set a variable s equals zero and then say something like, um, oh, what do we call it? End string equals nil maybe I don't know if this is a good variable name or not it doesn't matter we'll figure it out we'll say while end string dot nil while that's true we're just gonna keep on doing what we're about to do so the first thing we want to do is say well actually um, I'm gonna have to break out of this I forgot to add one thing. So we need to have our pages in an array. So then we'll go back up and we'll do this again. Okay, so we'll say page or doc equals, uh, let's just go get this. So I don't have to type it all again. So first of all, let's change this to double quote. We're going to string interpolate here. So we'll just pass in s, which is our variable that's currently set to zero. So I need to set this equal to, or make that a double quote, and then I'm going to say this is just doc. Okay, so first of all, read the doc. Um, then let's say um, page equals doc.read. And then we'll say, um, so what we can actually do is say something like end string equals um, page dot index no results. So that should probably not be called end string. Maybe it's like uh, end flag. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's weird because it's not a string, and it's gonna it's gonna be a number or nil in this case. Um, so what we'll do is we'll say if in string is not equal nil, we want to add the page to pages. So we'll say pages, and then we'll just append page. Uh, what else do we want to do? We want to say s equals s plus 120 and that's it I think and we want to actually I probably ought to sleep for a second so that we don't just totally blow up uh, or send a ton of requests instantaneously to Craigslist we just want to wait a second before sending each request so we'll just sleep one and then I'm going to just put that we're sleeping. So that we can see it read out. That'll take a 30 seconds, something like that. So yeah. So I'm not going to sit here and make you watch all of this. I'll come back in just a second and we'll check what we have. So I made a logical error way up here. So I want to just cycle back up and make a quick fix, and we'll run it again. So we'll say um, while in string is nil. So first thing we want to do is uh, get our doc page is doc dot read. That was fine. In string. Yep, that's fine too. So this should actually be the opposite, if it is nil, which means we haven't hit the end yet. We want to add the page. 
we want to increment s so what was happening, it was just going to loop for all eternity. So if you've been sitting waiting, sorry about that. Um, so while we're here, we'll say puts, just to check our sanity. So I'm going to put S equals S. So we can see that it's actually incrementing. We'll sleep one. Okay, then I'm just going to end, end. Okay, so this looks more like what we'd expect. And I'm just going to hang out for a second and we'll see what, where it goes. So it actually finished looping. So it stopped right at 3000, which is what we were hoping for. So let's check our pages array. Now let's just check the count. So 25 pages, 3,000 divided by 120, 25. So that's exactly what we were hoping for. Let's just grab a random one, pages 20. And let's just kind of scan through here. Um, wanted to just kind of see yeah I mean we've got like this looks like a a listing here so essentially I just wanted to do kind of a quick check to make sure that we are actually getting all the pages and it certainly looks like we are okay to recap what we've gone over here is really how to deal with pagination so there's really three things you have to look for. The first thing is just what is the in the URL, what's the indicator for the page? Is it like P equals something, S equals something, or something totally different? Um, and then you have to look for two other things. What's the start look like and what does the end look like? So if you you know if you go to a page that doesn't exist, is there some indicator that you can make use of when you're looping to say, okay, now I'm done? And the other thing is, can you start with like whatever the indicator is equals zero or equals one or whatever because you need some way to give it the start and then uh, increment as we did. In the next episode part three we will essentially parse all this content and put all of the real estate or apartment listings into objects so that we can uh, do things with them. But that's going to be it for this episode, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for watching.